hello everyone hopefully everyone will be fine so Basit Khan is uh, again with you after a long time you know today is 24 April 2020 so everyone knows that whole of the world is just affected with the pandemic coronavirus disease so this is a very affecting the economies of all the countries and most importantly it is affecting the lives so as a precautionary measure i have used m95 m95 mask to save myself from this virus but we'll leave everything on our guard and uh, so it's now now it's like april we are heading towards the may months and the flowering on most of the mango trees have been completed and uh, now the flushes have also been completed by most of the mango trees and now mango trees are coming towards the uh, fruit formation and the small fruits have been started to develop and it's a very crucial month in this month it could be happen that uh, there would be a attack of various insect and pest and also there could be attack of some important diseases like malformation of fluorescence and there could would also be attack of powdery mildew would also be observed and uh, like now the green uh, fruit maturing stage has been started and it's crucial time because summer is also heading so well, now we have to save our fruit from the drying up of uh, hot summers so we will show you at what stage the, now the fruit is and what measures we can do now to save our orchards from the mango orchards from the summer effects and diseases insects and pest here you can easily observe that the fruit formation has been started all of you know that there is around 0.01 percent pollination so among these there is 5000 flowers the pollination of around 10 to 15 flowers have been successful and further from these you see like 15 small uh, mango grains these would be left around two or three in the future so further fruit doping dropping would be observed because this would be a uh, drop due to uh, mango mijin fluorescence so mango mint mijin fluorescence how they attack so they come and they start affecting the pedicel of our flowering flower and by this way it causes the fruit dropping and there would also be attack of the mango leaf hopper so mango leaf hopper is very active in these days and uh, it is really uh, harming the plant and the fruit formation process and uh, it's very dangerous so powdery mildew still yet we are not looking any powdery mildew but uh, this orchard is very uh, good agriculture practices have been applied here and we see a very little insect and pest here 
and uh, what you could do because now the summer is prevailing so we have to prevent our for uh, our orchards from the heat so we need to irrigate them regularly after like every 15 to 20 days and we have to retain some of the moisture in our in our soil so that we need to save our small fruits from the stress of the heat so this is all about for the today video so we will be again after short period of time so see you later